Tonight, with tensions at the Israel-Lebanon border reaching fresh highs, Hezbollah's second in command, Naeem Qasim, in an American TV exclusive, providing a rare glimpse into the militant group's strategy. So right now, Hezbollah is simply trying to distract the Israelis from their military action in Gaza. That's your main goal. Of course, Hezbollah participates for the sake of lowering the pressure on Gaza and for the sake of preventing Israel from achieving its objectives. In addition, as a clear message that if you expand it, there will be serious consequences. These messages have been delivered and are still being delivered. But distracting Israel is far from Hezbollah's only goal. The group's leader, Hassan Nasrallah, vowing to kill one Israeli civilian for every Lebanese civilian casualty. A threat taking on new urgency after an Israeli airstrike killed a woman and three children in Lebanon on Sunday, according to state media. Israel says Hezbollah has already fired 30 rocket strikes in retaliation. Are you going to expand your attacks? Are you going to deliberately target Israeli civilians? We normally don't discuss our operational activities and how we will behave. What we will do, you will see in the press, God willing. But Hassan Nasrallah did discuss his plans. Hassan Nasrallah did say one Lebanese civilian for one Israeli civilian. That sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan to kill Israeli civilians. You can start counting and you will see whether or not our calculations are correct or not. Israel says it's now leading what it calls a global battle against Iranian-backed groups, including Hamas and Hezbollah. What we see is a broader battle between civilization and barbarism. The barbarism is led by an axis of terror. But what Netanyahu calls the axis of terror, Iran and its allies in the region call an axis of resistance. And lately, the axis of resistance has been more active than ever striking American military and Israeli targets across the Middle East. Can you tell the other members of the axis of resistance to stop harassing the Israelis and the Americans? It's a question directed at America and Israel. It's upon them to stop the aggression so that things do not expand. And if they do, only God knows how much it might expand. Well, Tom, you saw Naeem Qasim's reaction to my question about deliberately targeting civilians, that kind of an eye for an eye mentality. And alongside Hezbollah's stated commitment to escalating their attacks against Israel, if Israel escalates their assaults on the Gaza Strip, which, by the way, they're almost certain to do, they've said they're going to continue to do that. Well, then you've got the recipe for an expanding region-wide war. Tom? That is the big fear. All right, Matt Bradley for us tonight. Matt, we thank you for that. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.